Okay, so we are recording. It says I got 75 minutes, so we should be good. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go to okay. Autodesk. And then you could look up Autodesk EDU license. Okay, there you go. And all right, so you know what? Nah, no, I'll just leave it. Okay, so go, you're going to have to make an account, first of all. So just go in and make an, a, like, click on Autodesk Educational Student Access. There you go. Mm -hmm. Click on that. Now, have you made an account before? No, I have not. Okay, so it'll say, it says sign in up at the corner. Mm -hmm. So go to that. Um, it'll say, well, hold on a second. So you have to say create account. It's below the next. And then I use your EDU. You need to use your EDU. My Purdue email. Your Purdue email, yes. Yeah. That is important. Because they're going to link that up with that. Hopefully it clears really, really fast, but they you have to put your ID or some kind of page in um, from like your registrar that shows that you're in like this semester type of thing. And then they'll approve it, but I don't know how fast it's going to go. I think they have algorithms now that like actually can look. Does your ID actually have your date that you started in? I think so. It should. Because if it does, like some of the old IDs didn't have the date on them, and then those would cause issues. Does it have a date on it? Is it the expi expiration date? It does, indeed. Cool. We're good. Is this okay. if my account already exists? That's very strange. Mm. I never made an account. Really? Yes. Um. That's weird. Okay, so why don't you just say, try to type in your thing and then say forgot password and see if it'll email you your account. I'm going to see if it is this, because I, I know I didn't make an account. I never made an account before. Are you sure? Maybe you didn't. You didn't realize it. Well, that means that you already, I mean, if you already have the account, then it says get educational access, so go ahead okay. and hit that. Yeah, sure. Sorry about that. I had no idea. No, it's okay. It's fine. I just want to make sure that... Okay, so, but it doesn't have... Um, so put your role, student. And in, so our institution should be in there, so put the institution type, um, university, uh, name it, yeah, you can put Purdue... You just keep putting Purdue University. Okay. And then put in your birth rate. Birth rate. Birth rate. <laughs> birth rate. <laughs> when were you? How many of you were born? Just the one. Oh, How young are we? We'll blur all this stuff out. Ah, uh, not 2005. That is not it. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, enrollment date? Yep, you can put that. Uh, was it the expiration date that was on here? Mm, no, when did you enroll? Like, uh, it would be August of this year, right? Yeah. So, August 22nd, 2022. Or something like that. August 28th, 22nd. Somewhere in there. And graduation date? That one would be the one that's in there. Yeah, that is so weird because I've never made an account before. Okay, seven. Is four. Seven is July. Yeah. I'm only running on one brain cell. You're so. fine. It was years before I knew that either. 2028. And. Okay, wait a second. Did it? It didn't ask for. It didn't ask for your ID. See, they they keep changing this thing. So, is there anywhere it says to load up an ID? Oh, country region. Make sure you put that in. Mm. Put in. What is that? My mom's email. <laughs> wait, did it just switch your mom's email? No, I didn't. Oh. oh my god, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, don't do that. Ah, there you go. Okay. 
That's what we're looking for. Okay, so there's nothing else below there, so mm -hmm. identity service. Okay, so just say confirm. Let's see what happens. You're confirmed. Look at how fast I was. They, they used to have to put in your ID and stuff like that. So huh. go ahead and say get Autodesk software. Now, I'm going to give you, we we're going to get Maya 2022 because that's what they have in the labs. Then you can, like, if you needed to use the lab computer, like if this thing crashed or something like that, you can use the same files in there. If you get 2023, you won't be able to use the files that you're doing here in there. Yeah. It's not backwards compatible. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I've been called multiple so, different alterations. So let's roll down a little bit and we're gonna look for Maya. Address Maya. Right there. Uh, yeah. There you go. And get product. Get product. And then now wait a second. Say no hold on, close that because you don't want the twenty you don't you want to change that to twenty twenty two. Right, there you go. Twenty twenty two, Windows, yes, install. Unless you're on a Mac, no, it's not. Uh, say accept. They now own you. You are. I sold my soul to sold Maya. Set, so no, to Autodesk. No. Autodesk. For Maya. For Maya. Small price to pay. It is. Open file. It's fine. Say yes. Um. Okay. So now you can hit install. Okay. I think that it should be ready. Or do you have to do it on the hard drive? Does it come up with like a box or a window? Here, oh, there it is. Now it's probably going to ask you to sign in the first time you open Maya. Uh, well, I'll choose the where to install. So that's fine. Like we're just going to install it, install it in the standard place. Uh, hit cancel, hit cancel. Just hit next. Just hit next. There you go. And then, um, I mean, I think the question is like, wh do you plan on doing like VFX in there? Probably not. Like, you could uncheck like the Bifrost. If, I, I would guess you're not going to use that. Well, next semester I'm also taking intro to VFX. Yeah, that's my class. We use Houdini. Oh, I'm also. Oh, you're going to use oh, Houdini. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. That's Carlos's class, but you'll be using Houdini. Oh. Yeah. That's so cool! Uh, mine's 247, he teaches 147. Uh, wait, Mr. Morales? Yeah, Carl. Oh, Morales. nice. I have him now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, install. So, yeah, just say install, that's fine. I mean, if you want okay. everything in there. I, I usually uncheck the Bifrost, but then I probably leave everything else. Recording again. All right, here we go. So, it looks like, okay, uh, Autodesk installing. So, now it's actually going to go through and install everything. This will depend on how fast your computer is. I definitely suggest you get a dedicated graphics card, typically NVIDIA is better, um, for 3D stuff, uh, because they use the CUDA cores. So, not like I'm advocating products, but I'm just saying like in my, in my expertise over time, that's been, that's been better. And so now it's just going through and installing everything, and of course the Bifrost is holding up the, the mix here. Okay, so then go Yay. ahead, it says Autodesk uh, install was complete. You can hit start. And it might ask you to log in, which means obviously whatever your login is, you're going to put that in and then gotcha. you should be good to go. Maya 2022. Oh. Yeah, see, it's asking you to sign in. Of course. Just double check and make sure it works. Yeah. And, and there it goes. It's launching. Okay. Would it be on my desktop, or how would I access it? Uh, yeah, it should. It, it should have made a. And then in, in, in your in your uh, programs, there should yeah, yeah there should Yay. be. There's also should be something that says uh, Autodesk. Right, and um, make sure you get a mouse with a middle mouse button. Left and right click, middle mm -hmm. mouse button. Okay? You're going to need that. Okay. It's going to make life a lot easier. I have one at 
Oh. Yeah, don't you won't want to model with a track pad. You'll be pulling your hair out. Nobody wants that. It's like trying to draw with. We you. care about your privacy. Can we collect information on you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might as well. I already sold my soul to Autodesk. So Autodesk, yes, that's true. <laughs> All right, I oh, think this is okay. We're pretty good. Sure. And. Yep, it takes a little bit, but uh, and then it's going to load up, you know, all the default preferences and stuff like that. It's probably going to come up with a few windows. Um, I usually don't show those on startup after I get going, but you know, you may want to check out some helper files or something like that. So, if this loads, so here's the other thing too. Like, if you're working on a laptop and you're not plugged into the wall, typically the laptops are set up to go into into like a power saving mode so yeah. everything's going to work slower on your laptop especially for 3d stuff so if you want to get the most performance out of your computer plug it into the wall and you might have to go into your power settings and actually set it to performance versus being on like battery saving okay. battery saving will slow your computer down there I'm you go new user. there you go new user yeah okay new loser i mean user <laughs> did i say that wrong oops Anyway, right. there you go. So then you just start up a new file and blah, blah, blah. And oh, look at that. Now you're ready. Thank you. Rockin'. You betcha. All right. I will leave you to... Oh, yeah. I don't want to walk out with this. This is yours. Ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, awesome.